Here I am with Christy Hutcherson. You know, I'm always surprised at how many people go under the radar or you never hear about them. How many people are making big news stories and you never hear about them because the media narratives cover up so much of people's work. With me in this one, in this interview, is one of those people who's done a whole lot. A lot of people know about her, but still in all, the narratives and the media still kind of cover up some of the things, some of the good things that she's done. Christy Hutcherson. Christy, thank you so much for being on. They really appreciate it. Oh my God, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Well, you know, you are, you do a lot of different things. <laughs> it, 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 and when I say that, like some people, I, I told somebody about you and they said, oh yeah, that's that's the woman that's all down at the border all the time. <laughs> and then I talked to somebody else and they gave another, another thing that you do all the time. And then I asked you and you give me something else that you do. And I would like for you to share with the audience that doesn't know about you, some of these stories and what you do. But I'd like for you to share with the people who do know about you an update on what you're doing. Oh, well, you know what? How'd you start? How'd you get started? Oh, well, that's a mouthful. So let me make that really short and sweet because a lot of people do who've gone to and heard me speak because I, I give all of the credit to one person and one person only, and that's my God and Savior that I serve. Um, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing without him. You know, I had an audible um, over four years ago in my backyard. I worked in Washington, D.C. for over 18 plus years, uh, private sector defense contracting. I just decided to come out this year with some of the background and the and what we used to do. Um, we've helped with troop drawdown in theater in Iraq and Afghanistan. We were charged with looking at wars on different fronts. There's many things that our consultant company was charged to do by our own federal government. Been in the Pentagon. I don't like to say that, but it's the truth. I mean, um, but when God got a hold of my heart, I couldn't say no anymore. And so I stepped down as CEO of my company and I literally walked away from everything that we believe man in our purposes within men. It's not. And when I say men, men's world here. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, this journey that I've been on has been ordained by God. And it's about exposing, quite frankly. So what I do, it's multiple fronts. It usually has to do with international and domestic security. Mm -hmm. um, it has to do with intelligence. It has to do with uncovering the corruption at all levels, whether it's grassroots all the way up to the highest levels. It's about educating without bias to the American people at what's risk. And the risk is freedom and liberty as we know it today. Right. And so the border, I, I, was, I literally have been at the border for over two weeks, since the two weeks into the Biden administration, uh, we started looking at the border. I'm the only one still to this day who's driven all 2,000 miles of border. Um, we've been to 30 states. You've we've, driven along the border? Uh-huh. Me and a very special elite team on both sides, by the way, Mexico and and we've uncovered so much stuff. And a lot of the stuff that we were talking about over two years ago, there's a lot of uh, news agencies right now who are literally spewing the stuff that my listeners knew over two years ago. And that's, you know, the supply chain issues, what they're doing with uh, the terrorism, who's coming over the border, the why, the child trafficking rings, the tunnels, you name it, the tents. We've already exposed all that stuff. And so I... The border is extremely important, but I'm shifting a little bit right now because we have less than 12 to 13 months at best to save this republic called America. You think it's that soon? I do. I do. You can look the writings on the wall. So when you start seeing everything that they're doing, all the, you think of this as a chess game. That, okay. That's how you need to think of this. Uh, so there's the moves world, and counter moves. the world moves. is the chessboard or just the America? World. No, the world is the chessboard. Okay. But let's just take, take America, for example, okay? Because that's really where people, it's their backyard, so they care the that's most, right. right? And how it's going to impact them. I call it the bubble life. We need to get out of bubble life living because if it doesn't impact your door front, you typically don't get involved until it's too late or it affects you directly or your family right. member or your child. And so... The bubble life needs to be popped, and uh, really <laughs> soon. Uh, so if you look at the, on, on a scale of what's been going on in the United States, it is very clear that they are upping their plans, they are, they are pushing forward quicker their agenda that they had with, with time frames on it. You know, we, I've, said that, I've said this on my show several, uh, actually Tuesday night I was saying on my show, that, and I try to reach people I try to reach the people who are either are not informed, don't agree with us, or think we're conspiracy theorists. Mm -hmm. You know, and point is like all oh, crazy. They're listening yeah. to the media narrative and they don't they don't wake up. So I try to reach, 
I know I'm not going to reach all of them. I know that. But I've reached some of them. Yeah. And, and I said the other night, if you can't look around the world and be suspicious as to the things that are going on, you know, why are so many elected officials, whether you think they're corrupt or not, are having so many problems and nothing's being done? You know, and, and, and the problem is some of, so many of them excuse the, that behavior because they just don't like Trump. They say, it's okay for Biden to do that, we don't like Trump. And that's, and that's why they excuse it. When you look at the digital currency uh, you know, stories that come out, when you look at gold, silver, you look at, you look at what you know, all the other countries are doing, you look at Russia moving in on Ukraine, you look at, you know, you look at China up ramping up on things, you look at the, boat, the, 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 the boats or the uh, warships that are off the coast of Alaska right now, I think. Well, from what, what that's I heard. nothing even new. Um, first and foremost, like China, so there's something called the BRI which most Americans are like, what's the BRI? Well, it's the Belt and Road Initiative that China's been working on for over 10 plus years. That's a very scary thing. They, I did a presentation in Michigan this past weekend and I showed the footprint of China. I showed the footprint of Iran and I showed the footprint of Russia on our shores, at our doorstep, literally. And I showed the movements. For example, uh, we've had warships by China under a different flag off the coast of Buenos Aires in the last six months. We've had a Iranian cargo plane, which landed in Caracas, Mexico City, and then went to Buenos Aires. They had highly sophisticated cyber intelligence equipment on there. 14 of the individual's passengers were- How did you find this out? Because I, because I know where to look. Okay. <laughs> well, it's funny because when I did an interview with, with the guy from Project Dynamo, he used to work for the State Department. And so when I asked him, well, how did you get into like Russia? Like he tells a story about how he got into Russia to get two babies out of an orphanage and rescue them and get them back to their American parents. Mm -hmm. You know, and you go, how'd you, how, how'd you know to, how to, who to call and how to call? He tells the whole story on my, on my podcast. Mm -hmm. He says, because I have connections from the state. You know, he used to work in this like you did. I don't talk about how I get my data and information. Yeah. However, I do my due diligence okay. very well. I don't know how you did it, but and you know, um, you know I just, what I tell people too. I will give you places to go to find this information out okay. because one of the things that's missing, period, across the world with individuals, is the ability to think for ourselves. Right. This is, and I want to make something very clear to to your audience right love, now. Thank you. This is not for me. I, this is not political for me. Um, whether you're a, a Republican, Independent, or de Democrat, okay? I walked away from two, two, two entities, and I'm gonna tell them who, and please, you're gonna cringe, right? I walked away from the church, the four walls of the church. I haven't been to the four walls of the church since 2012. I did not walk away from my God. That's who I serve directly. Because the churches have become a den of thieves. They've become, um, they don't teach truth. Um, they, they water stuff down or they just flat out don't teach it and they don't follow certainly the, the Ten Commandments or the Bible. The other thing that I walked away from, I used to be very heavily involved in the Republican Party. Not anymore. Because I understand the Republican Party and I know there are a whole bunch of vipers in there. And at the top, uh, Rona Mc, I'll name them out, I don't care. Um, and by the way, it's a pay to play system. Before I walked away from everything, when I used to have money, because I'm funding this fight myself now to save my country, um, you know, I was asked to be a super delegate. My husband and I were donors. Well, guess what? To be a super delegate, you want to know the secret? What's the secret? You write a $25,000 check oh. to your state GOP. Oh, okay. Pay to play, baby. That's right. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing, because I don't care. I'm going to call all of you out. And not everybody's corrupt. And let me be very clear on that. In the State Department, in the DOJ, in our agencies, in these different agencies, in the Republican Party, there are good men and women That's right. who are fighting hard. But they understand who they're fighting against because within their own system, the higher-ups, they're fighting against these globalist, anti-American, one-world system thinking individuals. And so we've got to replace all of those individuals across the board. So in the Republican Party or the Democratic Party, you've been hijacked. The Democratic Party, I'm talking about you too. It's, it's a microcosm of what's happening in our country. Our country's been hijacked by a far right in the Republican Party establishment and the 
far left of the Democrat yeah, party they're not even far left. They're communists. Let's just call it oh, what it wow. is. <laughs> Labels matter. They are yeah. full-on commies. And so, you know what? This is serious America. So what I fight for is truth. I fight for freedom. I fight for liberties. And I fight for the constitutional foundation of this great nation. Thank you. That's it. Nothing else guides me. And, of course, my moral principles that I'm guided by my Savior that I serve. That's right. And so... I've been called all sorts of stuff. I've had horrible articles written up about me. It's I actually, people will send me stuff that people have said, even in our own movement, by the mm -hmm. way, they're vicious. They've made up so many lies that, you know, this person gossips and talks. I don't have time for this. Right. I don't. We have a country to save. That's right. I, I don't, I'm not in the, I'm I, not in high school anymore. And that's what I understand. Like you, when you, even here in other places, you get all, you, everybody's supposed to be here for the same thing, but mm -hmm. then there's all this infighting like, oh, they don't like this and I don't do that and they don't like this. And I go, wait a minute, you know, can't we put these petty differences apart to be able to fight for what we're all here for ultimately, which is and just focus just on freedom, liberty, America, our constitution and do what it takes to protect it. I always say this, you know, everybody says, I like to say our country's been saved, it needs to be saved. And, mm -hmm. you know, ah, you see where I'm going with this. Uh, yeah. And I always say our country doesn't need to be saved. You know, our creator already saved all of the human race, you know, and when he put together the perfect people at the perfect time to create the perfect document, our constitution, he, right. what he did was he said, look, I've already blessed you with your freedoms and liberties. These men will create a document that protects your freedoms and liberties. It's up to us to honor his will and his gift yeah, that's right. and all he asks us to do is follow some simple guidelines and do some good things and honor him and yeah. we tend the garden that way right now we're not tending the garden the weeds are growing <laughs> they're not just growing they they have taken they over have taken the rooftops over. <laughs> well i didn't want to just steal your train of thought i, I want you to say again Anything else that you have that you have to put in there, but also how people can get a hold to see, yeah. see your information, how people can help you if they would believe in your efforts and they believe in what you're doing, how they could where they could go to see more of your work and how to help you. Well, you know, we need to understand the times that we're living in and we need to under and we have to educate ourselves. Okay, so I want you guys to educate yourselves, I want you to search um, mysterious plane landing in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Go, go search that. Um, go search the intelligence report. Every year, our intelligence agencies, the National Intelligence Director, they have to put out the report. You can find this, you just search National Intelligence Report. These are in areas that you can go get some hardcore information. And believe me, you'll get a great insight of language that's being utilized, all sorts of stuff. But quite frankly, you can follow me. Follow Women Fighting for America. Women Fighting for America. Go to WFFA.WIN. WFFA.WIN. Sign up for every single one of our social media platforms. Um, Facebook has been really shadow banning. And after the video I put out two days ago, that right now is over a million and a half hits um, with over 40,000 comments. Wow. Uh, Facebook is very upset about that video. And they're, the fact checkers, there's a big black mark in front of it that says fact check false information. And you know what? I, I wrote a letter to the fact checkers and put it out there. Dear fact checkers, you know what? I'm over the top. Every single time I see when they're trying to squash right. something, you know you're spot on. You, you, you're doing, you're, you're doing something. <laughs> other people say, why do you put things on Facebook? Why do you put things on YouTube? We have to use what the enemy intends. We have to get our message out there as well. Right. So we use every tool in the toolbox, right? That's an, in, in a military realm, we look at everything strategically. Mm, and right. We don't look at things from down here. We look at things from a 30,000 mile view up here. That's right. And so when we're looking up here, we're able to have really broad vision. So with that broad vision, we start looking at different sectors of things that we need to hone in on, right. and then we hone in onto that small area. Absolutely. That's what you do. And you have to be craftier than your enemy. You keep them close, but you're craftier them, and you have to be smarter than them. And so one of the, and you made a good point that I do want to go to. Um, the reason why we are not further along than we should be in this fight. Because believe me, this is a battle. They waged war on us a long time ago. We just are now catching up. So they're 
in sync, step by step by step by step. They will squabble, but they do it behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. They don't want the neighborhood to know what the family is doing That's inside right. the well, doors. Well, we do it in public. Yeah. We do it in public. We crucify each other. We don't get behind each other. They have a narrative. They have an agenda. They have the money. They have the force. And they keep everybody under control underneath the roof. And, but once you walk out of that house... You go out that front door, everybody's on the same tune. And if you're not, they are dealt with swiftly and quickly. And so we don't do that. We work in silos because we are free thinkers. Mm -hmm. Conservatives tend to be free thinkers. Right. So we've got to break down those walls. We've got to play in the sandbox together. If we don't start sharing our resources, our talents, our gifts, lay the freaking egos down because I'm so sick of in this movement, the egos who think they're better than everybody else. Right. I put my pants on just like you. Right. And you know what? The only way we're gonna win is with a unified front, with a strategic battle plan, because any good general going into a fight, That's we right. meet daily. We look at the pain points, That's right. we adjust, and then we counter the moves. That's, right. That's what it's gonna take to win this country. Working so, together like a team. Absolutely. There's no I in team. And you know what? I'm nothing without my team. And I'm the fo I'm the face and the voice, but I'm seen but not seen, and I love that. But my team, the team that's behind me, my volunteer staff, my security staff, these guys are incredible, and I could, I'm nothing without them, and I give them all the glory and the God. So the day that I stop breathing is the day that I'm gonna stop fighting for you, the American people. If you wanna support us, which I, we desperately need funds, and I don't ever really ask for money. I'm horrible at it, my team yeah. hates me for it, but we really do need fun funds, big funds. You know, $5 does go a long way. If you can afford that, I call it the widow's might. It's yeah. incredible, it's multiplied, because if everybody gave $5, I, we would be able to do even that much more to fight right. for you. I'm not fighting for me. I don't take a salary. You can look. I haven't literally taken a salary in four years. So you can Google and you can see Women Fighting for America. And if there's a salary attached to our organization, you will find none. 100% of every money and every dime that we get goes to the fight for freedom. We want to know why? Because I'm a mom and I love my country. My family fled Stalin. If we don't fight with everything we have, I promise you, less than two years from now, it's actually more like 13 months, our country will be fundamentally changed. Obama said it, hope and change. I'm going to fundamentally change this country. He said it. Biden, build back better. What do you think build back better is? Build back better, better is 15-minute cities. Build back better is control over every facet of your life through electric vehicles, through um, digital currency, through credit scores. Look at China. That's what's here and coming. They are literally taking They're the playbook. Us. They're showing us. Obama said he was going to do it, and we yep. ignored it. Biden said it makes it sound pretty, but it's just like communism in the past. Communism was always sold as a, pa as a pretty package, but then once it gets control, mm -hmm. It doesn't let you out from underneath its thumb. That's right. And so they're, they're showing us, we see what's happening in China. We see what the, 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 like I said, the digital currency, the ESA scores, everything like that. And that's why it's people like you out there pushing and making it. Well, you're putting yourself out there, making it more public. And that's why I wish more people would, would watch you. Well, What's the website again? Women Fighting for America, WFFA dot W-I-N. Um, you win. know, because we're going to win. I love this. We're going to win. I didn't use .com. I would use .win because we are going to win. If we all decide that enough is enough, all of this stops. Everything stops. When the masses say, you know what? We're not doing this anymore. We're not allowing you to do this. And you know what? They don't work for, them, for themselves. They right. work for us. We're actually the ones in control. That's right. And when we realize that, the power that we have, both in our wallets, our, our, not just the vote, but to hold these people accountable, and when they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, right. you need to have them removed from office. We can do this peacefully. Um, we're not them. We're not, the, we're not the ones who are funding Black Lives Matter and Antifa, the Summer of Rage. Are any of those people being held accountable? No, no but the J6ers are. And I was there on J6. And, and, they, and they put the narratives out to magnify, to, to, to not just say, look, granted, some of them shouldn't have gone in, even though we know, well, I, no, no, I know, I know, I know you're going. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, what I'm saying is I'm, 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 down, I'm downplaying this in a way that people don't talk about this. Well, they shouldn't have gone in. Okay, 
well, just because they went in doesn't doesn't justify them being locked up for three years without due and not, process. Without due process. Yeah. And that's where and that's where the, where the example of violation. You might agree with them being somebody might agree with them being in there, but you got to agree that we our constitution wasn't set up this way. Our country wasn't set right. up this way, and it's people like you getting the word out there. I'm going to end with this final yep. thought. Um, any politician from the lower level all the way up to the highest levels of the land. When they're making policies, when their thoughts, their speeches counter the Constitution and we the people, you're in danger. And you're seeing that on an unprecedented scale. You're seeing treaties and executive orders that go against literally the American people, the American economy, you name it in every facet of this right. life. And so we have a right, we have a duty, the duty. Look up what duty means. That's right. We have a duty to secure what the founding fathers gave us. That's right. And the rest of the world is waiting right now with abated breath. I travel and talk to world leaders and, and other, the farmers. I was in uh, the Netherlands. The Dutch farmers love those guys. You know, they ask me time and time again, Christy, where is America? And they're not talking about the leaders. They're asking where the spirit of the American people when are. When you see what, what the Canadian truckers did, when you see what the, Nether, the, what the, what the Netherlands, the, the farmers did in the Netherlands, they're not seeing that spirit well up in Americans, but it's people like you that's bringing that to light. It's a Paul Revere moment. I think about Paul Revere and the riders that rode with him that night, that fateful night in Boston. It was pitch black. They had their little lamp, lamp, lamp with a little bit of light. And they were riding through the cobblestone streets and the dirt roads and the mud, town to town, warning, warning, the British are coming. The British are coming. America, it is time to ride. It is time to take up your torch and your light because the communists are here. The communists are here. And what you decide to do is going to have a direct impact of your children and your children's children's future. So you can get involved, educate yourself, go to Women Fighting for America, uh, support us get involved, volunteer, get the plan, and help fight for this country because she's worth fighting for. Chris, thank you so much. Thank you for having I, me. I, I appreciate you so much. Mm -hmm. And I would appreciate my listeners if you guys would please share the interview, but also go to her website. Thank you all so much.